Okay, so I've just come back after a couple of weeks away after the, the first lesson to see the gorgeous Max the Doberman there and Deborah, his adoring human. And um, Max was pretty full on when I first came. He was very much on guard. He was patrolling this back garden and Deborah had a lot of trouble with barking and him reacting to people walking past the house, etc. So, <laughs> Deborah, tell me how it's been going. He's calmed down a great deal. He's, um, his barking is a lot more under control. He might still want to bark a little bit at things, but um, if I tell him to stop, he does. Yeah. He's a lot more relaxed about people walking past the front gate. Yeah. Um, he can usually quite happily watch them now and not go all quivery and want to run around barking and screaming at them. Fantastic. Um, and how about, how, how's walking? Because he used to pull your arms out of the socket. Walking has become a pleasure again. Fantastic. It really has. He yeah. doesn't pull my arms out of the socket ever now. Yeah. Um, he can even walk past a dog barking behind a fence next door and take no notice of them. Right. Um, I think he's enjoying his walk more. And I certainly am enjoying my walk <laughs> more and it's certainly a lot safer. Fantastic. Now one of the things we talked about was uh, making his garden a little bit smaller yes. and you put up this very, very simple fence it's to just restrict some, him yes. and he doesn't go through that? No, he doesn't. And he's never done, it's never been electrified, amazing. it's electrified tape but it's not on Yeah. Um, and he's no, he's never gone through it. Fantastic, he so might, he, he knows now that he's got a smaller garden yes. and that's made a difference oh, too to the barking for sure. Oh, absolutely, he's yeah. so much more relaxed yeah. in the small garden. Yeah. He's not constantly pr pr patrolling that long boundary along there. Yes, because this is a big corner block so there's a lot of stimulus, children going Three past, etc. and that was a real problem and, uh, and now much He's happy. Yeah, much better, hey? Look at him. I thought he'd be upset with having a smaller area, but he seems to be really, really happy with it. Exactly. Don't you, eh? So, you know, it's hard to stress how much he just ran around last time oh, I was yeah. here. He was just on the move the whole <laughs> totally, time. Totally, yes. He's like a different dog. Yes. He's like his twin brother. Yes. Right. When, I, when you came, I said he needed a shot of Valium, and you've given me that, but without the actual drug. <laughs> That's a really good line. He really did need it. That's he was right. just totally stressed out. I yeah. didn't realise that was, was what his problem was. No. Fantastic. Hey. Great. Well, you've done really well. It's only been a couple of weeks. Three weeks. And yep. Three weeks, yeah. Three weeks. And, um, you know, there's still work to do, of course, yes. but um, as of now, it's going really well. And he's happy. And he's he's happier, happy, which is the most important thing. Fan fantastic. Don't so, next time you have a problem, who are you going to call? Barkbusters! <laughs>